I made a little quick um, demo on how to do the percentage based deposit in Adobe Acrobat. So our first box is our sample service. Our sample service is $75. Um, so that's already there. How we're gonna do it is we're gonna have our subtotal and then discount percentage is gonna be displayed and then our final price. So our subtotal formula, if we click into it, it is a calculated value. It is really gonna just be the same number as our sample service. So if you have more than one service, obviously each one would have its own value and your calculation would look like um, all of your fields. So just like I showed you in the original tutorial, you would do, you know, field number one, so it would be sample service number one plus sample service number two, and so on and so forth, and you would keep doing that. Um, obviously making sure you are checking the syntax to make sure it actually makes sense and it can calculate it. Um, so that is our sample service right there. Our subtotal obviously is gonna just take that number. So if you had several different services, you would be adding them all together in the subtotal. The discount percent is where you're taking the money off. So instead of how we did it before where there was a dollar amount, we're doing a percentage. So if you are charging someone 25% of a service um, as their deposit, this is how your formula should look. So the zero point whatever is one gonna be the percentage of your deposit. So if your percentage was 20%, you would change this to 0 0.20. If it's 15%, if it's 10%, if it's 50%, this is basically how you're writing a percentage and a decimal form. So it will be 0 0.550 because it's Point, it's half of a whole of a service, if that makes sense. So your whole service, if you charge a 50% deposit, it's going to be times your sample service price. So that's what it basically would look like. Let me bring up the calculator so you can see it also um, in that way. So for example, if we did um, 0 0.50 times $75, that's $37.50 is what their balance would be. Um, so $75, uh, $37.50 is basically half of their $75 deposit, $75 deposit. So, you know, it, it would be the same thing as if you divided it, whoops, not, not, 75 divided by two is $37.50. So it's the same thing, um, the 50 cents, times, I'm sorry, 50% 50, 50 times 75 as our sample service price is $37.50. So they would have to pay a $37.50 deposit if you set your deposit to 50%. If you set your deposit to 25%, like I'm basically going to do in this example, whoops, then it'd be this. So let me go back to our calculator. I just got rid of our calculator. Hold on, let me get it back up. I'm good for that. I'll close out of a calculator in a minute. Um, <laughs> point, point 0.25 times our sample service price of $75 gives us $18.75. It's gonna round it up, but their deposit essentially will be $18.75 or $19 if it rounds it up. So that's what should display in the discount percentage box that I made. All right, so I've already got it in here. We're gonna leave it at 25%. You can change this number here to whatever you want it to be. But in this example, it's just gonna be a 25% deposit that they need to pay, or that would automatically be deducted from their total, right? So let me close that out. I'm gonna check the syntax again to make sure it makes sense. Um, and then we're gonna click okay. Our, subs, our final price is super simple. That one is easy. All we're doing is our field. So I'm gonna actually take it out of here so you can see it again. Just click on fields. You're gonna do your sample service. I'm sorry, my bad. Sample service and discount is the same. Subtotal is the same for this because there's only one. But we're gonna do our subtotal field plus our discount percentage. And then we're gonna check the syntax and then we're gonna say okay and it's formatted to display as a number with a dollar sign and all of that. I 
Actually, I'm, I'm feeling like I need to make this a minus and not a plus. Let's check it again. Okay, cool. And then we're going to click OK. We're going to click Save. Then we're going to grab our code just to test it to make sure it actually works. And then we're going to click and go to it. All right, so it actually does work. So this is correct. $75 is our sample service price. Our subtotal box has our $75 in it. Uh, automatic 25% discount, if they have to pay a deposit, is going to take $19 off. I can actually have this display as a dollar amount too if I want to. And then our final price is $56. So let's make sure the math is mathing. Let me go back to my calculator. And... $75 minus $19 is how much? 56. So it does add it up correctly. That is how you take a percentage off. Um, I'm going to go back in here and show you just how to make sure that your percentage amount looks like a dollar amount. I think I've shown that in the first video, but I'll show it again here because why not? Um, we want it to display as a number. We'll, we'll let it be a dollar amount. So as long as you have the dollar sign there, it will display. If you'd like, you can go into Canva and just add a dollar sign on your graphic. It's up to you. Um, but you can also display it here. And then we'll go ahead and click Save. We'll go back to our original form and click Refresh. And now you can see it actually did it as a dollar amount with the correct precise um, amount. When you do it as just that number with the, the little comma, it'll round it up. But if you put it as a dollar amount, it will give you your, your exact percentage discount. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that made sense. Um, if you have any other questions or if it's anything that you want to know, is it possible in Adobe Acrobat Pro when we're creating these forms? Just leave a comment in the course and I will respond with a video um, if it's possible. And if it's not possible, I will probably still respond with a video showing you all the struggles I might have went through trying to figure out if it was possible. But yeah, hopefully that helps. This is how you do a percentage-based deposit in Adobe Acrobat if you don't want to do a specific dollar amount deposit.